When I was eight years old, I watched how my mom taught students that other people thought wouldn't be reachable. I was really excited to see how she was able to get passion out of them, and the other teachers would say, oh, don't even bother with those kids. She worked with special ed students and with students who were in typically developing classes and said how special ed helped her in all areas. And so I watched how she would take things like toys and teach physics with it and see how kids would get excited who never liked science before. And the diverse population she worked with, I decided I wanted to do what she was doing. As I was going through different programs and I knew I was going through the two years of Running Start, I ended up almost falling into this different program that I was originally intending. And being able to talk with the instructors and the questions that they asked got me asking more questions. I didn't originally intend to go to a PhD track and I originally wasn't even planning to go to Masters, but that was part of the program here for teaching. And so that ended up giving me a whole different trajectory of where I was going for my education plan that I wouldn't have had without being at the University of Washington. Data is really important in education and I started to learn that more from qualitative and quantitative research methods courses here. I didn't originally intend to be a researcher, I wanted to just get in the classroom. But I started to realize that data tells us a lot of different things about a lot of different questions that we can ask as teachers. If we're only looking at one type of question, we could miss this whole wealth of knowledge that students have or their abilities for creativity or their ability to come up with convergent and divergent thinking. But by being able to have resources to look at different ways to collect that data and show demonstrations of knowledge, it'll help teachers to realize the fuller potential that students have and their capabilities. There's so many students who will go through an education system their whole life and think they're not good at school because they only see one type of data collected on them. So when teachers realize that not only can students have the power and voice to help create and design assessment, but do it themselves, then it can change the way that kids perceive themselves in education, how they have a voice, and can move forward in education. I ended up becoming fascinated by the concept of mentoring. And I saw some really fascinating things come out of what happens when an older child teaches a younger child. It's not just about the learning that happens in the younger child, but the change and transformation in thinking in the older child once they take the role of teacher. When I saw the questions that they started asking when we went through reflective sessions or they would write things in their journals, I looked at the literature in teacher research and teachers as researchers and I thought, my goodness, this is parallel with what adults are doing. So if we can start training kids to teach other kids, not only is it aligned with cultural studies and what's culturally relevant of collectivistic societies, but it also helps kids to speak that they have voice, that they know that their learning can impact someone else in a form of legacy and it also gives them a reason for learning. I think one of the things that I'm most passionate about in the classroom is being able to see when a student lights up and someone who normally wouldn't have said that they like school but then they see the intersections of various different types of learning, what happens when you have physics and art together and what happens when you have science and history together and you can see how those subjects interconnect. It's given me the chance to be able to see how you can design learning in a way that has connections across domains and I know that's one of the goals the College of Education has had. It also gives a chance to reflect the, some of the core ideas that the College of Education has with diversity, with social justice, and being able to um, bring equity to a group of students who normally wouldn't have access to a range of technology, whether it's working directly with developers and job shadowing, or helping design content that becomes actually produced through Microsoft. And being able to see those kids have hope for future goals in their life and ideas already at the young ages of 6th through 10th grade is really exciting to me.